Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Craft. Welcome back to the Mosaic Crochet Mystery Crochet Log. I am so excited for part two. I hope you really enjoyed part one. Oh, that was so much fun. You learned how to do mosaic crochet in rows and using overlay mosaic crochet. So the regular technique, there was no fancy things happening. It was just single crochet and double crochets either in a back loop or in a front loop respectfully so yep you're gonna do something very similar in this part but it's not gonna be in rows this time it's gonna be in rounds this time we're gonna use the same colors so I used lime brands color theory yarn and ice cream roving yarn and I used a four millimeter crochet hook you also can get the written instructions at the link down below in the description. You have two options to get the written pattern as well as the graph. You can get it for free with ads on my website and you can also get it ad free in my membership called The Crochet Club. You can join as a monthly, quarterly or annual member and special for this mystery crochet along. You can also join as a tri member and get access to only this this mystery crochet along ad free and you can also join the group where all the buzz is happening for seven days as a trial member which then turns into a full member automatically so let's get started with part two for part two you're gonna use this graph right here and you're gonna be like wait that looks like the sample one from part one yep just one little difference you don't have an edge stitch at all. So for rounds, you don't have edge stitches. You're just going to make a slip stitch at the end of each round, and then you carry your yarn upward um, by dropping it beforehand and picking it back up later. I'll show you that, okay? For part two, you're going to chain 184 chains. Yup, <laughs> that's how many, but don't worry. But you don't have a lot of rounds to do. You only have seven rounds, okay? So 184 chains chains and you're going to turn it into a loop okay so there is no turning chain or anything so if you have 184 chains you also have 184 stitches okay that means you're going to work this little part right here which is eight stitches you're going to work that 23 times eight times 23 is 184 Okay, so I'm going to show you this little sample right here and I did it three times to have a tiny little loop like this just to show you how to do the transition. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do the next round right here and how you're just going to keep going and then how to do the slip stitch here in the back it's just that you get an idea on how to do it in rounds it's actually very simple it's very similar to, to rows just the only difference is you have a slip stitch at the end and you're not cutting your yarn you're just gonna you know carry it up so let me show you okay I did the very first two rounds already just because they're just single crochet exactly the same way as you would have done it for rows. So what you're going to do is once you have dropped one color down, right, you can see here my loops, I literally just leave them hanging there and then I start a new color, right? And once I have my two colors going, all I have to do is drop the other color and then pick up the first one. And in order to pick it up, all I'm doing is go through the back loop okay pull the yarn through and now i adjust so i move the other color to the side and i adjust the one that i have like so so that my loop is proper it's not too long it's not too short right and i'm in a back loop only right here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just simply make a single crochet okay you can make a chain of one first just make sure you're not adding extra stitches to it feel free to add like a stitch marker if that works for you but yes you can do like a single crochet right there so that would be if you have a single crochet in the very first stitch now for us right here we actually have a mosaic double crochet on the very first stitch so let me show you that one so if you have a mosaic double crochet as your very first stitch in rounds i do recommend making a chain of one because we actually have to get down there right in order to make our first double crochet but two rows down so we're gonna have to look where's our um, two rows down where's our front loop and it's gonna be right there that's our front loop okay so I'm going to after I make my chain of one I'm gonna go down here 
through the front loop and I'm going to simply make my double crochet. There we go. Our very first stitch is done. Now we're going to have five stitches that are just single crochet. Okay, so let's do that. And they're all in a back loop only, just like you have done in rows. Again, this is the same technique. The only difference is we're doing it in rounds. So here we go. I made my five single crochets in a back loop only. And now I'm going to do again a mosaic double crochet. There we go. And the next stitch is one single crochet right there. And then we start over in the beginning. So again, we have a mosaic double crochet. And then again, five stitches in single crochet. I'm going to finish up this row around here and then I'll show you how I do the slip stitches. So here we go. I finished my very last stitch. So now I have to make a slip stitch. You can make regular slip stitches if you want, or you can do hidden slip stitches, which I personally prefer because the front part is going to look a lot cleaner this, uh, this way. So let me show you. So I make my loop a little bit bigger and I take my hook out. I'm going to put it through the very first stitch through both loops. Okay, literally from the front to the back, like so. And I'm gonna pull my yarn back. So it's kind of a relocation of my loop. Okay, and that's your invisible slip stitch. So you can totally do a regular one if you like, but I like to make the invisible one. And then I make my loop a little bit bigger, so that way I'm not losing it. And then I drop it. Then I grab my other yarn or my other color right here's my loop from the previous color and again we're going to put it through the back loop right here so this stitch right here okay and in this case it is a single crochet in the back loop only so we're going to simply pull this through the back loop of the very first stitch adjust my yarn completely ignoring the other yarn it's just hanging there okay again you can totally make a chain of one here if you want to it's up to you for a single crochet, I typically skip it. I only do it for the mosaic double crochet. And now I'm just going to make my single crochet right there. And then this is going to be the loop where I'm going to go through later when I do the slip stitch. And now I'm just going to keep going. So here the very next stitch is going to be a mosaic double crochet. So I'm just going to go down here and then make my mosaic double crochet. And I'm just gonna keep going, right? Until the end of the round. And then you're gonna go through this stitch right here, which is your single crochet right there, and then pull this through once you reach the end of the round. And then you're gonna pick up your new color again. And that's how you do it in rounds. Now let me show you how this project actually looks like once you're done with your 184 stitches and seven rounds. So here is this long loop all done in overlay mosaic crochet. And you can see this is where the transitioning happens right here. This is where your yarn kind of drops and picks back up. So the backs, you can see it a little bit, right? But in the front, you don't see it, right? And here's where my finishing stitch is. This is my last stitch right here. So after you're done, you can simply make a slip knot and you can do this for both colors and you can weave in your ends over there and then you're good to go okay so this is how the loop looks like after you are done with part two doing this entire graph 23 times in a row or in a round i should say and then your project looks like this okay so obviously this is the front or the outside the right side and then and then this is the back side or the wrong side, however you want to call it, okay? So now it's time for you to take a picture of part two and maybe put part one next to it, okay? Just that you have both of them together. We can see you did both part one and part two. Let me fold it, it's easier to hold that way. Okay, so right here is part two for the mosaic crochet, mystery crochet along. Hmm. Any ideas yet of what we're making? I have this feeling this time I'm truly keeping the mystery alive until the very, very end. Ooh, I don't think you're going to guess this one. <laughs>
I'm really excited for this one. Remember, we're going to have something very special happening after part three. There's a big party at the end with prices. So keep going, finish up your pieces, part one and part two. If you haven't caught up with part one, this is the time to do it since part two is very quick to do. And then come back to part three because part three, you still have to do a little bit of crocheting and then assembly. So, are you excited? I sure am. And I hope to see you back here for part three in a couple of days. You may see the replay here if you're watching this at a later time. Don't forget to take the picture, right? And make sure you use this hashtag right here when you're in the Facebook group called Crocheting with Nikki. And don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your crochet friends. They may also want to join and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I publish your video or go live. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.